2016, it's been a surprising year. The surprises? We have had a lot of sequels that we expected to be good, most of them turned to shit. But the main thing that's been a surprise to 2016 were the horror films. I'm going to point out the top 5 horror films of 2016. Let's begin the countdown. Number five has to be Hush. Hush was directed by Mike Flanagan and it stars Kate Siegel. It's about a woman who is deaf. She lost her ability to hear when she was three years old. She's an author and this mysterious killer is after her. Now she must use all her senses to survive besides her hearing. It was a good movie of great performances from Kate Siegel. It showed the struggle of a person who is deaf and this shows how you can use your other senses to survive. That was a good one. Who's there? Stay right there. Four, don't breathe. Don't breathe stars Stephen Lang, and he was the best thing about this movie. He plays a blind man, he's an ex military operator. This movie was more of a thriller instead of a horror, but it's still in a horror category. It was, it has a lot of plausible plot holes, but yet this movie was original. There hasn't been a movie about this take. The reason why the whole this movie got into number four because it's a new story and has some originality to it. Lights out. Uh, you you want a movie that that is really scary? Try to turn the lights off and watch this movie by turn with the lights out. <laughs> this movie right here was surprisingly scary. Lights out came from the same production that created The Conjuring 2. This movie was downright scary, and and it basically made me sleep with the lights on. You ain't gonna have no other movie like this. Or the horror was was brilliant. The cinematography was also was on point. So that's why this movie deserves to be number three. Who are you? Do you know what it feels like to be strangled to death? Number two. Wow. It's tough. I had to go with Ouija. This movie didn't feel like a sequel. It felt like a movie on its own, and that's why one of the things, best, thing, best things about it. The reason why this movie got number two because it's creep factor. That little girl, Lulu Wilson, she really scared the pants off me. There are some scenes where I was actually bugging the fuck out. There are some scenes where I was actually looking on top of the roof, making sure she ain't crawling up there. This really bugged, especially driving home from the movie theater.
the best horror film of 2016 is The Conjuring 2. This movie. <laughs> oh. Don't. Is th that picture is creepy as fuck. Don't look into her eyes. God, I swear to God. Amy. This movie had a brilliant story, brilliant cinematography, but also the best thing about it, it had the horror elements along with the great story, a personal story of that. You actually felt the characters. You are invested with the characters that you see on screen. Perfect movie. I have never seen a movie like it. And it's haunting. It gets under your skin. That is the best movie of 2016. All right, guys, do you like this list? Let me know, comment section on the board. And also, my next video, I'm going to do a review for Star Wars Episode Two, and I'm going to have a collaboration with my best friend and longtime buddy, Super Fan K. He, he does really hard on his work. I really appreciate it. And we're going to discuss the movie. I cannot wait. Thank you, guys. If you like everything you see and you agree, click right here to join me and the Batman family. I have more Batman task reviews on the way. You have been warned. Till then, ciao.